Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Sambo. He lived with his mother and father on the edge of a big jungle. One day, Sambo's mother made him a beautiful little red coat and a pair of beautiful little blue trousers. Well, his father wanted to do something nice for Sambo too, so he went out and bought a bright green umbrella and a cute little pair of purple shoes with bright red soles and bright red linings. Well, Sambo was so happy that he put on all his fine new clothes and went out for a walk in the jungle. Before long, he met a big striped kitty cat. Good morning, big striped kitty cat. Uh, good morning, little boy. May I walk with you? Oh, that would be very nice. And would you like to wear my beautiful red coat? Mm, I like that very much, thank you. So, the big striped kitty cat, who was really a very nice tiger, put on Sambo's beautiful red coat and walked along singing. Oh, I should lead a marching band, the grandest tiger in all the land. Sambo and the tiger walked happily along, and soon they met another big striped kitty cat. Hey, good morning, little boy and handsome tiger. May I walk with you? Oh, please do, sir. And would you like to wear my beautiful blue trousers? Hey, I like that very much. Thank you. So the tiger put on Sambo's beautiful blue trousers and walked happily along singing. I'm all dressed up and should be seen The grandest tiger that's ever been Sambo and the two tigers walked happily along And before they'd gone very far They met another big striped kitty cat Good morning, big striped kitty cat hey, Good morning, little boy and handsome tigers May I walk with you? Oh, please do, sir. And how would you like to wear my beautiful purple shoes with the bright red soles and bright red linings? Oh, I'd love that very much, thank you. But, oh, I've got four feet and you've got only two. And, oh, well, you just haven't got enough shoes for me. Oh, that's right. Say, I've got it. You could wear the shoes on your ears. I could wear the shoes on my ears? Oh, so I could. That's a very, very good idea. <laughs> So the tiger put on Sambo's cute purple shoes with the bright red soles and the bright red linings and walked along singing. Two shoes on my ears may be funny yet, I'm the grandest tiger you've ever met. So Sambo and the three tigers walked happily along when suddenly out into the path sprang another big striped kitty cat. Uh, good evening, little boy and handsome tigers. May I walk with you? Oh, please do, sir. And since we're all dressed up, how would you like to carry my beautiful green umbrella? Gee, I'd like that very much, thank you, but I need all my paws for walking. Uh, hey, how could I carry an umbrella? Well, I could tie a knot in your tail and you could carry it that way. So they tied the umbrella to the tiger's tail and they all walked happily along, the last tiger singing. Just look at me, look at me, the grandest tiger you ever to see. Then all of a sudden, before you could say I'm the grandest tiger in all the land that there's ever been, that you've ever met, that you ever did see, I'm the grandest tiger in all the land. I'm the grandest tiger that's ever been. I am the grandest tiger you've ever met. I'm the grandest tiger you ever did see. <laughs> Sambo jumped behind a great big palm tree. He watched the tigers take off all the fine clothes and put them in a neat little pile. And then they began rolling and tumbling around on the ground. Pretty soon they rolled and tumbled right up to the big palm tree. See there, big striped kitty cats. Why have you taken off all your nice clothes? 
Don't you want them anymore? Ah! Well, if you want them, you better say so, or else I'll take them home. Ah! Now, that wasn't a very nice way to answer a question, so Sambo put on all his fine clothes again and started home. But wait, that's not the end. The tigers were very angry and they started to chase each other around the tree. They ran around and around and around, faster and faster, until they were going around so fast that you couldn't even see them. And then the strangest thing happened. They ran faster and faster and faster and faster till they all just melted away. Imagine, they just melted away and there was nothing left but a great big pool of melted butter. Now, just as the tigers melted into the big pool of butter, Zambo's father came along and saw what had happened. Oh, a wonderful, wonderful melted butter. I'll take it home to mother and we'll all have pancakes. So he put the melted butter into a big brass pot and took it home. And there, Sambo's mother got some flour and eggs and milk and sugar and made the biggest plate of golden brown pancakes you ever saw. Then Sambo and his mother and father all sat down to supper. Mother ate 27 pancakes. Father ate 55 pancakes. And I ate a 171. Because I had a very busy day. 